I'm Jeff Potash, one of the authors of Dollars and Cents. I'll demonstrate how you can create your own models using Stella software and a personal finance model as a demonstration. I'll be moving quickly, but don't worry. You can also find helpful short videos describing each of the steps I'll be taking by going to the IC Systems website and clicking on the Tutorials section under Stella. Let's start mapping out the system using the four basic building blocks that are located in the upper left portion of the palette. We'll begin, as we always do, with a stock. Clicking, placing it on our palette, and clicking to lock it. Now what's the stock or accumulation of stuff that's most important to me? That's dollars in my account. How much do I start with in my account? I'll click, open, look at the menu box, place the initial value, I'll specify zero, and click OK. So I've got a stock of no dollars in my account, which will change as a consequence of dollars flowing in and dollars flowing out. I'll capture the inflow by going up to the palette, clicking on the flow icon, moving it to the left of the stock, clicking, holding, and dragging it to the stock until the stock changes. At that point I've made a connection. We'll call that income. At the same time, we'll recognize that money flows out of my account as well. And to capture the outflow, we'll place the flow icon inside the stock, click, hold, and drag it out. And we'll call that expenses. Now, what is it that causes, influences the amount of money that goes in and goes out of my account? Here I'll be using the converter and the connector icons. We'll start with the converter. Select and place under the income flow. We could name it anything, but for our illustrative purposes, we'll call it monthly income. That monthly income, we said, drawing upon an action con uh, connector, uh, placing it inside the converter and dragging it until it forms a connection with the income, now allows us to open the income flow. Notice that we've said monthly income is a required input. Click, define, OK. At the same time, We'll do the same thing uh, on the expense side of our model. And expenses will require that we use monthly expenses. Now let's say that we have a monthly income of $250 and monthly expenses of $175. At this point we'll go up to the REN menu, click and look at the run specs to define how long we want this run to, uh, to, to operate. We're talking months, it could be 12, it could be 24, let's, let's, let's stay with 24 as is here. Click OK. I'll move the model up to the palette so that we might look at output. What do we want? How do we want to see the model run? We have four different options on the palette up here and we're going to start by selecting the graph pad. Clicking, placing it off to the, to the right, we'll move it onto the palette and I'll click and hold it down there. Double click and again a menu box says what would I like to see? I'd like to see dollars in my account, and I'll click on com uh, comparative so that I can uh, look under different conditions. And I'll click on hide lines and detail just to finish up here. As well, I probably would like to see some additional information using the table pad. I'll place that here, move it over, hold it, and in this case, for the table, I think I'd like to see my income, dollars in my account, 
and my expenses all at the same time. Now recall, we specified that we had $250 coming in and $175 coming out. Up to the Run menu and let's see what happens. I've got $1,800 at the end of 24 months and I could just as easily change any either of these factors. For instance, I could reduce my expenses by $25, which, as the graph shows, allows me to increase the amount of money in my account to $2,400. That's how it's done. Master the basic steps that I've shown you, and you can build models that let you explore challenges that are important to you personally. Go ahead, give it a try, and good luck.